How's it going, guys? I'm Josh with Big Pex Ordnance. I'm here with Ash from my tournament, and we're about to go over the KS1. This is the KS1. Ooh, very cool. Uh, so this is the KS1. This, this is basically, we've been having this around for a while. We've been bringing this shot show for a couple years. Just got a big contract with that gun. So this is the first year that it's been out here in the front. Uh, this is coming to market pretty quick. Uh, it's still gonna be a little while. Everything's, you know, we're still, it's a nice armament. We're still, still behind. Uh, but basically some of the things that we've got, urx 6 handguard, and we've been kind of upgrading stuff. So there's some people that have been buying some Knights guns and it's got this little gap right here. And it's for the handguard. So if you got if you got one of those, it has a little notch right there. It's for a purpose, right? Uh, the new couple, and improved. Yeah, new and improved, and it's just coming for this handguard as we get away from UX six or UX four, go on to UX six. That's what it's for. A um, couple other things that's been around for a little bit now: full ambi uh, on the charging handle and dual ejector bolt. But the big thing is that we've got coming out now. It's with the KS one. Is I've got bolt catch and release. Very nice on the on the gun. So that that that's like a new thing that. I've had in the back room, people haven't been able to get to see, but now we got it out front. And uh, we got a bunch of stuff for our, our whole, we've got all of our new line out right now. We've got all that on the SR25s. We've got all the all the SR15s oh, that are out full here. Ambi now? Everything's full ambi. Wow. Uh, yeah. So two port brakes on the SR25s. They're just some cool stuff. Yeah. And then suppressors, we talked a little bit about that in the podcast. Um, so watch that podcast if you don't know what I'm talking about. But we've got the 3D printed stuff, which capacity is super high on that. Very good. Um, nice. So we, we're, we're able to make a whole lot more of those okay. and get those back orders out. And those are what calibers again? Yeah, 5.56, five, six, uh, six, five, we got 762, 5.56, five, that covers 6.5 five, for more yep. and, and that sort of stuff. Nice. So, okay. Very cool, man. That's awesome. Mind if I... Yeah, grab, absolutely. Grab That's what they're for. So this is the good stuff that we're looking for. Very beautiful. The yep, they're nice. A dimple barrel, heavy, heavy profile barrel. So there was somebody on YouTube that blew one up a couple, a couple, three weeks ago. Oh, really? And it was a 14.5 with a, with a thin profile barrel on it. Well, not thin, but it's it's a not that profile barrel on it. Gotcha. And that one's not going to do that. So yeah, I don't. It's perfectly fine for that. There. It's amazing when you do stuff that's not designed not for something. Either. No, no. Wow, that feels really good. KS1. Very nice. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. much got, really got them in 11, 5, 16s and some other oh, stuff. Oh, so all like the that. lengths. Yep. So all, all the lengths, okay. 14, 5. Very nice. Man. No pin and weld. Sorry, everybody. Oh, yeah. Good. We don't need that. That's awesome, man. I really enjoyed that. Thank you very much, yep. man. That's cool. I really appreciate it. Yep. Easy day. Yes, sir.